Hey everyone! I am here to do another guest review for Wig Studio One. This is Noriko Haley in the color Ginger Brown. And Wig Studio One did send this one to me so that I could show her to you guys. And I'll be honest with you guys, this is a wig I would have never purchased. So I am very, very excited to have an opportunity to try this one. Um, I've heard Noriko fibers are amazing. I've heard that they are workhorse fibers and that they last forever. I've heard that about multiple Noriko wigs. So if you own some Noriko, I would love to hear your feedback on these fibers because I got to tell you, they feel really amazing. Like they feel so good. You guys, I just, and if they don't feel like super delicate and wispy, which leads me to believe that they probably will last for a while. We'll talk a little bit about that though. But let's just, first of all, tell you what I'm wearing. I just said it, but I'll show it to you guys. Haley in the color Ginger Brown. And Wig Studio One, this is my, um, well, I've done a couple of reviews for them already. And, uh, and I'm so excited to be able to have opportunities like this to try wigs that I would not purchase on my own because it just expands not only my own horizons and my own experience so that I can answer you guys' questions better because I get questions about wigs that I don't have any experience with, but it gives you guys a chance to see some different styles on me and that's just helpful all around uh, to help you kind of figure out what might be a good fit for you. Wig Studio One is uh, an online retailer. If you have not heard of them, they do have a Facebook group called Wig and Topper. It's Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. And they have over 6,000 women in the group and it's very, very active. There's so much support provided in this group. I'm an active member of the group myself. Uh, and so, and I actually have been since I first started wearing wigs. So I highly recommend it if you're on Facebook to join the group, because if you have questions about wigs, if you'd like to see what wigs look like on people, if you have questions about how to steam a wig or, or make a wig work for you, I, that's just a great support. And they also have a great online website where you can purchase wigs. They have a clearance section. Um, right now there's a code, uh, beautiful you that you can use to get 30% off most purchases. And so it's a great place to go to and get a good deal. So I will put some information in the description, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about wig studio one. So let's just talk a little bit about Haley. This is out of the box. All I did to Haley was put her on my head and I took a wide tooth comb to her. And I just did this. That is all I did to Haley. I didn't do anything else. No product, no hanging upside down, no sitting on a wig stand, nothing. So I'm gonna give you a good look at Haley. Haley is a very, very asymmetrical bob, which you will see right here. You can see that. She's got silky, silky, straight fibers, and she is a basic cap, so we'll talk a little bit about that as well. For those of you with not a lot of experience with wigs, the more cap features there are, the more expensive it's going to be. So a basic cap wig is going to have a lower price point than a wig with a lace front or a wig with a, a, wig, a wig with any type of monofilament. Um, but they can also sometimes be a little more challenging to wear. And so I do want to touch on that with this one. So I'll just show you, there is no lace front. Some of you are going to love that because lace fronts can be really itchy to some people. Also no monofilament, which as you can see, you can see some permatees. All that fuzzy hair right there is permatees. We will talk more about that because there are strategies that you can take to deal with permatees that you can see. And I've done none of that with this one yet because I wanted to show you her out of the box. Other than that, she feels so good. These fibers are so nice, so silky. They just, I mean, the movement on the fibers is really good. Can you see that? Really, really nice. Uh, sometimes with more fine denier fibers, they can um, tangle easy, but they can also get frizzy easy. Um, they, they sometimes will come out with a lot of flyaways, and the more you play with them like this, 
the more flyaways you wind up with. These are a little bit more substantial fibers, so I think that they would be able to tolerate quite a bit. And I think that that means they might last a lot longer as well. I just wanna make sure you guys get a good look at this A-line. Cause it's pretty significant. And the back is, the nape is quite short. Which is not a style I'm really used to. So let's look at the cap. So like I said, completely basic cap. There's the front. All of that in there is permatease. She does have the, the ear tabs with metal stays. They don't have any of that soft kind of velvet or moleskin. They're the same material as the cap is made out of here, which means if you have a very sensitive scalp, if you don't have any bio hair at all, um, this could feel a little itchy on you because it doesn't have any of the soft um, features that some other caps do. It also has an extended nape, which also has the, the same feeling fibers. And then you've got the pull adjusters, which I'm not a fan of. This cap feels like it runs small, which I think is pretty typical with Noriko. Um, and again, I don't have a lot of experience with Noriko myself, but from what I have heard. And so I have not had to tighten this cap at all, sometimes I do with, with some wigs. I do have an average circumference. I don't have a lot of extra room in the cap, but I will say this um, is a very full wig. Um, the density is, is a higher density for a straight bob. And there is a lot of permatease in Haley. It's not I'm gonna do my best to describe this for you. It's not like poofy, pillowy permatease. It's just like a coating all over the cap. When I do this, I can feel it. It's like, a, it's kind of feels padded, but the difference is it's not, I don't know how, it's just not super poofy, if that makes any sense whatsoever. What it does is it allows you to go like this, and give some body to this this uh, style, which I think can it can use a little bit. Um, yeah, it's just it you can feel it, but it's not like rat's nesty. So if that makes any sense whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna play around with her a little bit. There's a couple of things I wanna do and then come back and talk with you a little bit about that. One of the things I wanna do is I wanna deal with this. I wanna deal with that permatease and see if I can tame it down a little bit so it's a little bit less visible. It's not terrible, but it's there. And then I just wanna play around with the bangs a little bit. I've got a little crimp right here, can you see that? And I just want to see if I can smooth that out. Because there's no lace front, you do want these bangs, you know, I'm not going to be able to get it off the face. So if this had a lace front, one of the things that would be really cute with the style is to kind of clip it up. But I'm not going to be able to do that. If you have bio hair in the front that you can pull out and blend a little bit, that can always be a really great technique when you've got no lace front. I don't have that, so I'm just going to see what I can do with this right here. Uh, and then I'll come back and I'll report back. So stick around. <laughs> hey everyone. All right, so I'm back and I have had an opportunity to play with Haley a number of times and I am just finding her to be such a cute little bob. Honestly, these fibers, I'm so impressed by these fibers. Uh, just they're, they're, they're so substantial and they're just going to last. If you're looking for a workhorse wig that you're going to be able to wear a lot and not really have to worry about the fibers, I mean, I think what people say about Noriko wigs is true. Uh, so I've played with her a lot. I've tried styling her. Um, you know, she costs, if you buy her on the Wig Studio One website with a 30% off discount, she's like... A little bit less than $140. She's like $139 and change. And for a wig that's going to last a long time, I really think that's a good price. Now, of course, you have to take into consideration the lack of cat features. So if you need a lace front or you need a monopart, 
you know, I wouldn't just buy it because it's cheap, because you might not end up wearing it. Early on in my journey, I needed those things, and I couldn't get my head around wigs without them. So no matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't wear wigs without them. I'm really a lot further in my journey now, and I figured out how to make wigs work. Not only that, though, I'm a lot more confident in them, and I've come to the realization or conclusion that people do not notice things. So I don't worry about things like this not having a mono part in general, but that's where I am in my wig journey. So I want you to be really careful that if I put a wig on and it looks awesome on me, that you don't just take that as the reason to buy it. You really have to consider all the, all the things. So in my wrap up on her and my impressions, my number one impression is that these fibers are great and they are gonna last. Um, I do think that there are going to be a few challenges for people with this permatease, but it is, I mean, it's so much better than it was when I first got it out of the box. I wish I could have, would have thought to take a picture and gotten a side by side because just playing with her, using my wide tooth comb and really loosening those fibers, taking my fingers, my fingernails and really getting in there on those fibers really made a difference. So keep that in mind if you have visible permatease, that there, you know, you can really do a lot with that. It's not the first wig I've done this with. It makes a huge difference. And, you know, for styling options, while I did share that you can't really pull her off the face really easily because there's no lace front, you can get her off the face. And she doesn't hang in the face. But I just put a cute little sparkly bobby pin in, and I think that's a really cute style. Like I had said before, she is really tuckable. So I think that's great. If you wanted to try to put a little braid in her, you could totally do that. Um, you don't need to use a clip, you can just tuck her. And that's a really cute look. You know, you can leave some down and tuck the back. I mean, I just think, you know, you can definitely play with her. It's just gonna be, you know, a little bit less options. The other thing that I'm finding that I like a lot more than I thought I would is the back. Just not having hair. So I struggle with hair that doesn't come to my chin level or below in the front because of my really round face and I have a long face. So the shorter the wig, the more it accentuates both of those things. But sometimes I just don't want hair on my neck. And not to mention if you have a tattoo back there like I do and you want to show it off but you still want something going on in the front, you know, this kind of a style really works for that. So in conclusion, <laughs> I think there are so many things to like about Haley. Uh, the things that people aren't gonna like, I've mentioned in addition to her just being really kind of full and like my friend Frankie had said, you know, she, I think it was Frankie, um, mentioned something about anchor hair. No, no, Emily uh, said, you know, sometimes when she looks at these bobs, she pictures it like anchor hair, like that perfect anchor woman hair that's like cemented with Aquanet onto your head like a football helmet. Uh, and, you know, there's no getting around that she is kind of like that. And there's, I mean, you can mess her up a little bit, but there's really not a lot you're going to do about that. She is that just kind of perfectly back combed, round brush style. So, there you have it. This has been Haley. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks so much for watching. Stick around for the outside look of the color. Hey everyone. Okay, so here's Ginger Brown outside. There's some sun shining on her here. I will move over to some shade if I can find it. You can see all the leaves on the ground in my yard. I'm having trouble. It's a sunny day, which has been rare lately. I'm having trouble finding a shady spot because the, there's not as many leaves on the trees to block. All right, is this gonna work? Really wanna make sure you get a good look at this color without too much interference. Walk over here. Ah, maybe that'll work. It's hard to tell that sun, though it's windy, and so the sun pokes through the trees when the wind blows. This color is so pretty. Just natural, a little bit of auburn, auburn tones, not overly highlighted. Really, really, really a pretty color.
If you're a brunette who likes really warm, chocolatey colors, this ginger brown by, by Noriko, it's kind of a medium dark brown, is so good. I hope that was helpful. Please visit the Wig Studio One website if you're interested in this wig or any other. Remember the code BEAUTIFULYOU for 30% off. Thanks for watching, you guys.